What's up guys? So I don't even know how to start this. So I was like I didn't film today, I was with my pops, I was with my Annika and just family squad time and uh, just ironically clicked on like an old Casey video and it's the one he's talking about like the point what's the point of working and he's talking about like on this specific day, I don't remember watching this, but it was like 2016, he was talking about how he didn't make a video that day and he was like, man, he just felt like something was missing and you know, at, not every day, not every day content flows the way others do and, and I used to get really, really frustrated and uh, now I've learned to accept where if I don't have content or something to film, I just kind of focus on other things and try to get other things done and working on a lot of side projects and uh with all that i started looking at i was like i wonder what video how many videos i've i'm at because i know i hit 500 like a last month or so no that makes sense a couple months ago and um then i look and it's 599 so this is my 600th video that's crazy like that's a lot that's a lot of content <laughs> just it's literally wild and uh it just makes me like think about how much um, how much we've all grown together and I got asked the other day um, someone was DMing me I'll actually tell you right now who it was Touch Kick TV um, had a you know he hit me up and he's just talking about like K's and like versus SR's and then he asked me um, quick question what's some advice um, for an upcoming YouTuber I'm trying to get my channel going and like if there's anything in the past two years now that I've learned is there's three things and this is exactly what I said I said don't give up don't look at numbers and just do you and have fun with it and that's like that's all we have to do like there's there's, there's too many times where we all including myself just get caught up in like numbers whether it's numbers of uploads or numbers of views and I always talk about this but I just feel like with with this being number 600 like we made it we've made a lot of videos and i've spent a lot of a lot of time and and a lot of hard work trying to build this this platform and um i feel like i finally have a solid body of work regardless on any of the what numbers say like i don't i don't value my channel um based off the subscriber count i base it off like the feedback from you guys and all the inspiration you guys um, we give each other because you guys will hit me up and like say oh you know thanks for this thanks for that or or vice versa do you have advice on this how do you like someone hit me up on just local drift events he was from Delaware and um, he was wondering like what where's the closest drift events in our area and it's just cool to be able to be able to hit him back up break it all down how does it work where do you need to do where do you need to go and without YouTube we would never have that and it's just it's really cool to be able to um, have the the tools to be able to do this where you know a couple years ago I didn't have wide angle lenses or I didn't even have lens options like I didn't have a nice mic I didn't have a nice uh, laptop or desktop laptop and now I finally have all the tools to be able to create and it's 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 ironic because it it feels like my operation just never stops growing like I'm getting into new things on the side and and one day I'll break it all down, but it's just, I'm just thoroughly trying to make our operation as functional as possible. There's a way to make your channel and brand and whatever you want to do is like, it's, it's easy to start and easy to build, but it's hard to maintain. Like over the years, as people are paying attention to you, so say it's videos, they watched, you know, 400 out of the 600, but at, at one point you start to to pick up a different audience and different people and um you know it's it's hard to maintain anything whether it's a relationship brand youtube channel and it's it's something where i've learned to focus on pacing myself where not going crazy over if i miss an upload or going you know figuring out the best solution for a product where maybe it's not exactly maybe it's not exactly my number one choice but it's something I designed where um, it will it'll appeal to a, a majority rather being so specific something I learned is um, just to give you a raw example like my because Zenki shirt 
um, versus a, if I would have done a general 240 shirt. If I would have went to general 240, I most likely would have had a more better success. And it's just learning those things along the way, you just learn to pace yourself. We're like, okay, let's not go specific on this, but let's have the same idea and twist it. Making videos every day, it's, it's uh, you have to learn to pace yourself because no matter what, we all get burnt out. I've reached it many, many times where I'm just like, God, I'm just done. I'm done with videos. But, um, you know, I just say that for the night. I wake up on on fire. I put some good music on and I'm jiving back to normal. Um, I get, it goes up and down, up and down. And I just wanted to, like, just kind of chat with you guys real quick because I've been, I've been going through some, some really, really cool mental exercises where um, I'm okay with not uploading or I'm okay with where I'm at in life. I'm spending more time with my family. I've, I've seen around, like just things I've witnessed that are going on around me. There's, you know, not all the time to, I mean, your career is important, but not all the time you can focus on one thing. It's good to have a balance where you have family time, work time, hustle time, you know, whatever you want to do, you know, just make, like for me, it's balance. Like that's why the whole thesis of Because Daddy is, it's not, it's not Ryan's garage because it's not always going to be about Ryan's garage or, I shouldn't have used that analogy. <laughs> 240SX because it's not always gonna be about Ryan's 240SX or it's not always about um, drifting where it's like some of it, sometimes I'm gonna go to events and just film. It's not about just filming. It's like my whole thing is like my, I'm trying to navigate of being a father and continuing to obtain something at, at the highest level. That's what the whole thesis behind the Because Daddy name is. It came way before YouTube. I mean, it was just an Instagram name a long time ago. And it was just like for fun, like, you know what I mean? And it just evolved into this whole thing. And now with the whole be cause and be the cause, um, it's just like mine's Because Daddy, but your cause may not be. And that's why uh, I always say this, but that's why it's be, everything's be cause right now. It's not because, there's, but it's be cause. And um, I, wouldn't, I couldn't have guessed that would transition to a different path or try to figure out a different <laughs> anyway so yeah guys I just want to have a quick chat with you guys I was gonna jump on live but like sometimes it's better to have like a high quality good video I'm working on a different portion of the studio it's like basically like my production room and it's really dope it's really really dope it's not done yet this is that's where I'm at right now I'm con I'm moving my operation for when I create anything all into one facility. I have my, sh my storefront shop looking studio where like artwork can be thrown down. This is more so production and um, preparation for uh, when we, you know, anything that has to do with a product um, will be completed in this room. So I just had to get that off my chest and it's really cool to, to make it this far. You know, not, a, not there's not many like, there's not many, it's, it's, it's not easy to get that many projects out and persevere and not quit. And you know what I mean? Like there's plenty of times I've wanted to quit and, and it still happens. And it's not necessarily quit. I'm just, you get, I get burnt out to the point where I'm just like, I'm not even passionate about it anymore. And, but then the next I sleep and then I wake up and I'm like, hello. So it's really, really tough. It's, it's, um, that's why like first rule of, first rule of advice is don't quit. Like do not quit and don't look at numbers because your numbers will mess you up. You know what I mean? You start looking at numbers, it'll corrupt any mind. Numbers will corrupt a, a, a self-confident, strong-minded person. Um, and, and just do you. You know what I mean? You know how many times I get, I get told to change my name and change this, do this, do that, but that's not, that's not, why I'm making videos like um, a lot of times I'll get I'll get told to uh, I'll get told to change my name and make more con car content and that's not me like that's my life isn't always about cars and um, it'll, I don't think it'll ever be I just wanted to quickly just kind of talk to you about this guys I say it every day but really honestly thank you for always supporting us uh, it means the world to me it means the world to Monica it's so cool to be in this position where we can create and make things and put things out to the world 
and just keep rocking and not stop and just keep going. I mean, we're two years into it and we have such a long way to go. We just like got started. I feel like I finally start. I started making pretty good content, like good videos, like perfect length, perfect amount of humor, perfect amount of car content, this, that, and the other thing. I know how to navigate through music and this, that, and the other thing. So yeah, um, I just been working on our, recently I've been working on our summer collection. So we have, I'll show you, I'll show you this. We're working on, hold on. So this is a prototype, but um, we're working on releasing um, a render of sneakers, uh, kind of like a sneaker collection, but uh, for their website. This is just uh, literally a pro prototype. Um, so yeah, we have some cool stuff coming. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Basically, it, the real sneaker that's coming out will have the same thesis. I have like the B logo um, that says "Be the Cause" in Japanese, and then uh, the logo on the heel. But I may switch this because I'm not making a Nike. I'm probably gonna. Well, I'm gonna be making um, something else. <laughs> so stay tuned. So yeah, I just been I've been working on different products because like I don't know. I've re like I love creating, and I will continue to love creating. And it's just so much fun when I'm getting like balls deep into trying to figure out what you know what what's something new to make and like what's innovative and what's what's what will get me excited because you know not all the time like t-shirts are cool i love t-shirts hoodies and jackets that's fun but it's fun to to expand and try to try to go for like the the unachievable item like sneakers or or um like when it comes to jackets, like jean jackets, bomber jackets, like so not just your average, um, your average jacket that everyone puts out. So like, I'm just trying to always think of new stuff and think of, you know, think of cool different ways to be able to keep creating and be innovative. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I'm not here to, I'm not here to fall in line. It's just, that's just the bottom line. I'm here to freaking shake and bake and make some cool ish. So holla at your boy guys. We love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for everyone that reach out, reaches out to me all the time. And this is just a little rant. So it's all love from from the bottom of my heart. It's all love. Like I'm, I have no intention of spreading negative or spreading, um, you know, just bad stuff. Like I'm just trying to make some cool stuff. Like that's it. And like I get pumped up when I get an idea. Like this, this has been an idea for almost a year and it's cool to have it kind of... Uh, almost around the corner so this this summer is going to be the coolest summer as far as products we have a lot of cool stuff like when i tell you a lot of cool stuff we have a lot of cool stuff coming out yeah happy friday guys i love you tomorrow's monica's birthday so make sure you wish her a happy birthday um yeah we got family there tomorrow family there i should be able to film saturday because i'm gonna um surprise monica with a jam jam and then uh We'll get uh, we'll get rocking. You know what I mean. I still have to fill the, finish that air ducting. So, holla. Let's get to work. It's late. No day. Holla, you boy, guys. For real, I love you so much. Happy Friday, <laughs> boys. I work hard every mother day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard. I work hard.